Good afternoon, everyone. So I am about to get myself together. It is um, 11.32 right now, so about noon time. I know I look like I just woke up, but I've been up for quite a few hours. I wanted to use a couple products from this month's BoxyCharm. I usually do like a whole unboxing video, but I thought I'd just include it in today's video. So I wanted to do it a little bit differently this month. This time I tried to use them for a few days and get the feel for them, just so I can give you like a real review and my real honest opinion. This month in the box, we got um, this mascara. It is by Wander Beauty. And um, I, I do like it. It's just, you have to put a few layers on. So this is what the wand looks like. And it does work good. It's just like I said, you have to put a few layers on. But I've been liking this. I've been using this for about a week or more now. Also in this month box, we got this um, No More Baggage Eye Depuffing Gel from Dr. Brandt. I love all of their products. And I did use this like once or twice. I'll put it on today too because I am looking rough. <laughs> and also, Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. It looks a little bit different than like an eyebrow pencil that I'm used to. At first I was kind of confused. But what it is, is on one end when you open it up, it's like a brush. And on the other end, it has like a powder that you dip your brush in. So you take the brush, dip it in the powder and put it on. I I did try this out like once or twice and it works. It's just, I think I need a little bit more practice because it just makes my eyebrows look um, pretty thick and not more like that brush. You know how when you use like a thin eyebrow pencil, you could do like brush strokes where this is more of like a, I don't know. Like I said, I'll have to try it out a couple more times, but it did work. Also in this month's box, we got the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. This is what it looks like, a really nice bottle. It's a really good size. So I did try this out a couple of times. I do like it. It smells, it smells really good. I can't describe the smell, but it does smell good. So there's that. And one more thing. Last thing in the box was this Luminous Silk Compact Blusher in the color Desert Rose. This is what the color looks like and it's really pretty too and it's very pigmented. So I am going to use these products today. The first thing I'm going to put on is this Dr. Brandt No More Baggage. So the recommendations are after your eye moisturizer, warm a tiny amount between fingers and gently pat directly on bags and dark circles. Use alone or under makeup. For best results, let dry in between applications. Reapply as needed. So like I said, I did use this before and I'm just going to kind of hard to squeeze out. It has like this, I don't know if you can see, like an orangey color. It's kind of weird, but maybe that helps with like color correcting. I don't know. I'm just gonna, if you see me looking to the side, my mirror is right here. So I'm just going to pat it in there. It is a little bit sticky at first. Like I said, I did try these out before, um, but it does dry down and it was fine. Like I, you know, put concealer and stuff on top and it was fine. It didn't see any problems with it. So while that is drying a little bit, I am going to do my eyebrows. So I just did my eyebrows and realized that I had this to use. Today is just not my day. As you can see, I am looking very rough. Usually during the summertime, I don't really use foundation. I'll just use concealer if I have to because it is so hot and I feel like everything melts away and I just hate having like stuff on my face when it's like sticky and I'm all sweaty, you know what I mean? But I um, have had a few breakouts, so I'm just gonna apply concealer probably under my eyes a little bit, kind of around my where my breakouts are and just blend it in just so it looks a little bit better. Then I'm just going to set all of my concealer with the Stora Mercy setting powder. I am definitely not a makeup professional. But this is just what I do on my quick lazy days. Now I'm going to take this palette that I got in my BoxyCharm before and it's the Winky Lux one and I've been using this color right over here kind of in my crease and like basically on my entire lid as like a transition shade and I really don't do much especially if I know I'm not going anywhere exciting or if I just have to run errands or if I have to you know get ready quick 
I really don't do too much. Just adds a little pop of color so it doesn't look like I just rolled out of bed. And I like to bring it up a little bit higher, like not right under my eyebrow, but a little bit higher. Then I will dip into like this purplish and brown color, mix the two and put it on my outer corner just to deepen it up a little bit. Sometimes I'll use like a sparkly um, shadow. Sometimes I'll just take this like white one, I'll put on my finger or on a brush and just put it like more towards my inner corner to lighten it up so it's not super dark. And again, I'm going to mix these two shades and put some on my lower lash line. Next, I am going to apply some bronzer. And I've been using this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Bronzer. As you can tell, it's hip pan. Stuff smells amazing and it looks amazing. Sometimes too, if I'm like a really big rush, I will literally just put some of this on my um, eyelid just to add some color and run out the door just, you know, so it's not like pale. But yeah, love this stuff. And just put it all over. Next, I'm going to use this blush that I got in this month's BoxyCharm. It looks kind of like orangey, pinkishy. It's really pretty. Like I said, it does. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's really pretty. Next, I'm going to apply some uh, highlighter. Usually I use like a powder one, but my sister-in-law got me this liquid highlighter. It's by NYX. And I never used to use one, but I tried it out and I really like it. So I just put a little bit right here. My nose, lip. And I'll put a little bit on my eyebrow too. You can use a brush, but I like to use my fingers and just blend it in. I feel like it warms it up a little bit and it's easier to work with. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. This lighting's not the best. It's very subtle and very pretty for, like I said, those days where I don't really put too much makeup on, just simple everyday look. I like to set my face first and then use uh, mascara because a lot of times I'll put mascara on and then the next thing I'll do is set my face and I close my eyes when I set my face and then my mascara is everywhere. So this says to shake well. I've used this before and I really like it. First I'm going to curl my lashes. That is pretty much it. I still have to do my hair obviously but I'm gonna be home for a few hours so I'm not too worried about that. I just wanted to get myself together. I always feel a little bit better when I get myself together, have some makeup on. Some days I really don't bother if I know I'm gonna be outside in the yard, you know, I don't bother with it, but it just makes me feel a little bit better. If you are interested in any of the BoxyCharm products, I will leave a link down below. This is not sponsored, I do pay for it every month. I just really enjoy it, I like trying new products every month, it's $21 and you get all of these products and they are worth way more than $21. This is basically my simple everyday look. I don't wear makeup every day, but when I do, or if I'm in like in a rush, this is usually what I end up doing. For my outfit today, I just have on a plain white tank top and shorts, nothing too exciting. I hope you enjoyed watching this little get ready with me and trying out my BoxyCharm products. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Next, I'm going to use this eyeshadow. eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to put on this blush that I can't talk. Oh my goodness. Lord help me.